You read the title, you know what we're doing, so let's get started with, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Lost City, Lair of Molnite. Usually I'm on the stage I'm about to go into, but since I like having that, um... Uh, what would you call that? Transition? When we start these episodes, because it's like so perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just basically start the episode as soon as I boot the game up. <laughs> so that's what... <laughs> that's why, what made that strange thing occur. Not that it was that strange, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful here. You know, this level's a, f a funny level. I must have played this, um, well, the level itself's not funny, but... Well, this guy is funny. Ha, huh, my stuff's full. Oh, wait. I huh, we actually got something from the guy, because I did use a health potion, didn't I? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Gotta be careful with these things, man. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um, when I was trying to beat the game without... Uh, what's what am I? What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, <laughs> dying? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, this level is kind of hard because there's a lot of things in this level that can just like kill you. Like, you know, you touch the lava, you die. Yeah, and there's a lot of lava in this level. Like you know, if that wasn't super obvious, I'll take that apple. Uh, a shortcut where I won't have to fight any enemies or not. And those, they totally are that thing from Zelda. Man, this game is a lotty. <laughs> Man, that, that's what I get for using that gold flashy armor. It's so much easier with the silver armor, just getting that free charge attack all the time. Like, bouncing on two, two, like, the same thing twice is so easy. Like, even these rocks you can do it with. And you just get a free, like, kapow attack. Like, kapow. I suppose. Or, you know, you can hold the button down two seconds, but, like, you move slow. Like, look how slow I move while I'm holding the button down. Like, ugh, I still got that guy, though. Bam, bam, in the face. Yeah, right, gotta be careful here. So, I wanna blow up all these. And not that. Uh oh, now I gotta be careful. Whoa. That'll do. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter, because he's gonna stop right there, so I can just like come down here. Make sure I don't press down there, and <laughs> I guess that's one reason you wouldn't wanna just always be shoveling down. I think I made, like in one of the early episodes, I made the comment, um, Oh, he should just always be shoveling down. There really isn't a reason not to. Well, yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> there's a couple of parts in the game where there's stuff you don't want to blow up like that. Like, oh, if I break this block, I'm going to fall into a lavery abyss. I like these guys. They're funny. They're like, I'm just going to stand here. Ow. And take, like, <laughs> and take, like, bugger all kids to kill. What a funny guy. I'll take that chicken. Wall chicken. <laughs> just like, you know, another game. Not Mega Man this time, though, believe it or not. I'll break this checkpoint and raise you a... Charge attack, which actually cannot break <laughs> the jewels out of the ground. Interesting, interesting. These things... I love these things. Like, uh, I think they're meant to be, like, lava fish, but... They, they remind me of that Digimon. <laughs> I don't know its name. But, um... If you've seen my brief <laughs> LP of, uh... Digimon card battle, which I should actually really get back to that. <laughs> it's that thing I update like once every six months or some bullcrap like that. Yeah, there's like one of the best, uh, well not the best, but one of the easiest fire champion level Digimon to summon. Is that That's what it looks like. Now, jump. Yeah, I didn't need to do that, but you know, shits and giggles. Yes, yeah, so, so apparently I'm still breaking the checkpoints, so you know, I just gotta... Phase locket is not gonna help me when it's lava involved. No sirree, not the phase locket. Oh boy, I wish I was playing as a uh, Plague Knight right now. <laughs> this is this part's so annoying for Shovel Knight. You don't bounce too high off these guys, so you gotta be careful. Like this one, I gotta. Yeah, you know when the platform's lower. And I don't, I don't even trust these guys. Well, they only jump out of the lava when you get close to them, so. You know, it's designed so that the next one won't jump until you move towards it, so that makes a a pretty good amount of sense, I suppose. Yeah, see? No problem. Now I gotta get back across here, which shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, pretty simple. Okay, now, don't fall in the lava. Don't fall <laughs> The floor is lava. The real version. Oof. Yeah, you gotta time those jumps well. Alright, alright. That is a terrible spot for this guy. How can we take care of this guy without breaking this wall here? Would it be, like, most efficient to, like, sort of... I suppose... When I bounce on him, he stops for a second. Yeah, there we go, ha. Huh? I didn't need to break this. I'm just gonna break it now, because there's a turkey in it. Turkey chicken. Okay, these take two hits, so... I'll just break that one for no reason. That 
<laughs> what am I doing? I should be more careful than that. No, it's slowly. Can you know it's like that stuff from uh, Kirby? <laughs> yeah, you guys know I'm Kirby, right? You break the. Well, it's not really a break. It's like when you are firing a cannon, you light the fuse, and you gotta like follow the fuse. Now, note to self: do not, do not downstab here. Just get hit by the slimes. It's worth it. Or, or you know, we can just kill them on the ground like this. <laughs> My shovel is awfully close to the ground. It would be a shame if it. If I dropped it and it, uh, like, exploded the ground. Oh, we have a pretty good amount of gold. Let's see what you got for me, Chester. Uh, I like this item. It's not as useful as I'd like it to be, but it's still a really nice item that gets basically completely replaced by Propeller Knight's item. But that's not a big deal, so... These gloves give me the power to defy gravity. Only if I have something to punch with them, though. In mid air? Nah, nothing. I need a block to punch. Let's punch... I'll punch your lights out. Oh, even like an enemy like that it makes me go into. <laughs> okay. Ah, but yes, this is, this is what we needed to do that thing. You know, that thing that was on the overworld. Lots of floating powers. Because the phase locket cannot protect us from the lava. Hmm. I suppose I didn't need to do that little thing down there if I didn't want to. We could just pick up the item and go. So what do we have here? It seems... The lava has been infected by the, um, <laughs> the gelatine virus, yes, yes, the deadly virus that will make you cool and edible, and what would happen if you put a bunch of gelatin crystals into, uh, lava anyway? I imagine they'd probably do nothing, but if you shoved, like, a super excessive amount, hmm, what would happen? That is something... I am too lazy to Google, so you guys can do it for me, yeah? <laughs> Boing. Well, actually, <laughs> I imagine you probably wouldn't even be able to find anything about that. Apparently, in this game, all it takes is shoveling a little bit of, um, this goo into the lava, but it's only temporary, as you can see. Hmm. I remember down there, that gem down there, I had, like, no clue how to get that for the longest time, because I didn't, I could, I didn't realize you could just, like, walk into this. I thought you had to hit it, like, on that platform, but yeah, you can just walk into it and do that. Gotta be careful here, though. This requires a delicate touch, so onto there it goes. There it falls. Jump on here. Be very careful, because it's about to, yeah. <laughs> I suppose you have a bit of lenience. Not too much, though, so... Air shot! <laughs> right, now how do you get this? This I don't think I ever figured out. Uh, unless you can, like... So now I want to figure this out, because, like... Oh, I see. I'm a genius. <laughs> I didn't act I just, like, kind of did that. Yeah, I didn't know that's how you actually did that. So, you know, even I, the LP master, who was terrible at LPing... <laughs> uh, ooh. Uh, yep, that gap was good enough. Can, uh... You can even I can do stuff every now and then. Okay, what we got, what we got? A music note, even though I could already see that, so I don't know why I was asking myself what we got when I can clearly see it. It's like, um, you know, in Legend of Zelda, when Link's opening a chest, he's like, Oh man, I can see what's inside this, but I'm going to slowly reveal it so that the player doesn't see. Oh, what a smarty Link is. Okay, here I think I'm just going to, um, completely ignore this guy, because fighting those guys without using the down thrust, you know, the up thrust, the down thrust, like Zelda 2. <laughs> Alright, what we got here? Uh, can, I, can I just do this? <laughs> totally can. Hey, hey guy, anchors up. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. I think we're getting to the end of this level, which is interesting to me. Although I think this part coming up here is a bit difficult. Alright, oh, we got Fists of Justice. Oh, man. Regular shows ended so sad. I love that show, man. It was, like, my favorite show for such a long time. And it, like, ended before Adventure Time did, which started before it. Adventure Time should also be ending soon, though, which is also sad. Huh. Speaking of Cartoon Network, a lot of... A lot of, um... Complaints I see on the internet are from, obviously, Americans who watch the American Cartoon Network, which, which apparently only runs like, you know, Teen Titans Go all day. Our Cartoon Network does definitely not do that. 
plenty of um, Steven Universe and Adventure Time and regular show and um, other random shows they feel like airing. I wouldn't be able to. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> oh man. Always keeping you on edge, guys. Always keeping you on edge. But what do we have here? We have the boss. We're at the end of the stage. And I didn't die once. Go figure. I'm like, well, I almost died like three times or something. <laughs> but yeah. Nah, I kind of know it's good to uh, get out of that tangent. Hmm, how would Mole Knight sound? Like like one of those Mario villains or something, but I'm not doing a voice, because voices are for people who can do voices. <laughs> Which I do, apparently. You're out of your depth, Spelunker, are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. You know, the ages, the family. <laughs> There's a Jack ages, a Bob ages. <laughs> They're mine now, but more importantly, what is your digging el implement? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'm astonished you made it ten feet down of that rusty trinket. I will bury you. Oh, you're not a furry? Okay. <laughs> oh, what's like the optimal thing to use against this guy? You know, I don't know. Because you don't really need anything. He's a pretty easy boss. You know, I kind of just hang here and... Uh, every now and then just do a charge attack. That charge attack makes this boss go so much quicker. This is one, yeah, one of the few bosses this is that um, Plague Knight... And, you know, Shovel Knight can actually do faster than Plague Knight. Damn, I could actually... It would be hilarious if I killed him using one of those, his own things like that. Ow. Or I can just kill him like that, because I'm not waiting him to go through that whole cycle again. Yep, if something glows, you can reflect it. And off the top of my head, I cannot think of another game that uses that, though I'm probably sure there's like 50 of them. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the, um... Last thing, so I guess we have to do this. This one should be a bit hard. The one after this is easy, because you get like the horn thing, which is a busted item. But yeah, let's see Let's see how much we can get. So what do we got? 18, 4? Yeah, gold. Okay. So what do we got to kill? Let's see. It starts off small, I guess. I just, I just like these things. <laughs> oh yeah, the fist works well. <laughs> the fist works well against these guys. And you know, you got those invincibility frames. Bang, 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 die crow. I'm not really doing much in the air here. Yeah, the only guy that, the only stuff that gives a good amount of gems during this is the uh, knights. Everything else is like, whatever. But we still managed to get like 2,000, so you know, I can't complain. But how much do I get for digging up here? Only 150, not as good. Here is our meal ticket. Ooh, I feel invigorated, let's go. Reveal yourself, clouds of mystery. Ah, three more levels. Hmm. I thought it might be four you know, if we were following a pattern, but I guess three comes after three. <laughs> so here we have a knight dude, and the black knight wants to go, go again. Hmm, that, uh, that, one, that one didn't take us too long, so let's, uh, let's I'll do this like we promised, eh? I like this one. Horsey, what you got? So there's no way to punch through. I wish I could just dash through all this dirt. Well, I mean, I don't have a dash power up, but I do have a punchy power up. You know for punching. This one's pretty cool though. Every time, like, these challenge things, I'm just reminded of the, the challenge mode that the, this game has and how much, like, more challenging those are. Uh, but yeah, these aren't that bad. Like, you gotta, these air ones are interesting because you gotta, like, you know, punch at the correct time, otherwise you fall to your death. And you gotta, like, you gotta, like, press it slightly earlier than you normally would if you were stationary because oh shit I better kill these guys quick. Uh, oh ooh, I dodged that. Uh, pretty good. Oh damn. Taking home the cake. Any uh now let's pick up some reds. And we're we'll good to go. Oh I can probably hand in some music sheets too. I think it's been a while since we've done that. Punch 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 down punch 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 it's <laughs> me saying punch this much is reminding me of uh, rhythm heaven. <laughs> Punch kick! <laughs> oh man, anyone's played that game. I love that franchise. Can't wait for one to be on the Switch. Hopefully there will be. Because I do probably prefer the console ones. The 3DS one was okay. But I think I might have said this on the channel before, but the 3DS is easily my least favorite Nintendo console. I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly why. It just kind of 
is. I don't really enjoy playing games on it. Like, you'd think it'd be similar to the DS, but I enjoyed the DS way more, and I wouldn't be able to tell you why. Maybe it's because the DS used more sprite work, and the 3DS's resolution is so shit that 3D models look like crap on it. <laughs> well, I suppose it's like the same as a Nintendo 64, though. I don't know. Alright, how long are we going for? Mm, let's kill this night guy. We'll kill this night guy, and then we'll call it an episode, and we'll, you know, next time we'll, um... Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> This isn't Spectre Knight's stage. Must resist <laughs> rebuying a shuffle. Oh shit, I fell. <laughs> Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> oh man, gotta use that reference at any opportunity. Well, I don't think I actually can get back up, although I believe it's just a couple gems up there. Nothing too important. You know, one thing about the um, gold armor that's really good though is um, during these segments, you know, you're all shiny so you glow. So you can actually see yourself. Oh shit, that's right, I can't can't downstab the fire ones because stabbing to the side works better. That doesn't really make much sense now I think about it. Like I can't downward stab them because you know it's my shovel making the impact, but no, sideways stabbing is okay because um it's also my shovel making the impact. You know, I don't like this guy, let's actually use this. Get off Hey, you! Get off of my platform! Oh man, I'm re referencing everything today. The next reference will be, oh shit, where's my phase locket? That's not a reference, I just, I need the phase locket. Because this is a very tight space, you gotta fight this guy in. And as you can see, there's drops. So I'd rather just not be able to get hit by the guy. And fall to my... Demise? King of Armageddon? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and of course we have Mario 3, moving up and down when you clear a level. Ah uh, man, you gang, you Shovel Knight, and all your inspirational things. But as we all know, two rights make it right. Because that's how addition works. Yep. Two plus two is four. Even plus even isn't even. I don't know what the hell I'm on about. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time for, um, yeah, we'll go back to town and we'll do another level. Um, who do I do first here, actually? Uh, d -d 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 Usually I'd probably do Polar Knight first, but I'm kind of tempted to go to Propeller Knight first, just because I really like his... Mm, no, I might... yeah, we'll do Polar Knight first. We'll do what I usually do. <laughs> uh, but anyway, see you next time.